How's it going? This is attorney Sherrod Seward, a sports immigration lawyer, where I talk about a lot of common issues I see, especially a lot in combat sports. And uh, today I'm talking about a common issue that we get from MMA and boxing managers, um, but particular with uh, ones that have athletes that fight in the UFC. Typically, when international athletes fight in the UFC, they get a P1 visa. Sometimes they get P1 visas for multiple years, but a lot of times they get visas for single events. And that can be very problematic for athletes, especially ones that train in the United States and don't just um, come here to fight. So we had one inquiry from a fighter, a UFC fighter that uh, lives in the United States. They have children and a spouse in the United States, but they're currently stuck in another country because they do not have a P1 visa to come back to the United States, and they're not in a country where they have ESTA visa waivers. So pretty much they were expecting to fight in Las Vegas, which of course a P1 would be issued, but since their fight was moved to another country, they were unable to convince the promotion to get them a P1. So we were asked what can be done about that? Well, there is something that can be done, which is called a concurrent P1, or just having your own P1 anyway. You do not have to have your P1 filed by the UFC or Zufa to compete there. We have plenty, maybe even dozens of experiences where we have a third party that files for the P1 visa using the itinerary of the USC, especially if they're already signed and getting a multi-year visa uh, that they have and can control, which they can use to, uh, even if they get cut, still have the visa in, uh, in place if they get cut from the UFC, and they can also use that visa to uh, get support staff persons on their own without having to wait for the UFC. So for the, the, the managers out there that are wondering why does it make sense to obtain your own visa apart from the promoter, it's because you have that flexibility of knowing, one, I have a visa in place for multiple years regardless of my contractual status, and two, while I do have a promotional contract or bout agreement with a big promoter, that's the best time, the easiest time to get successful results on that visa application. So this is just out there to put as uh, informational use for those that could use it. And have a great day.